Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's Dr. J, and we're back with some more NBA 2K17 My Team. And uh, right now, I'm finishing the final challenge for the weekly challenges. And uh, basically, what I had to do was um, I had to beat the Jazz by 10 points, but in the whole game, I had to use only two timeouts. I only used one, which is good. Um, and so I'm about to um, complete it. But the big thing is, is that when I do complete it, I'm going to get a new diamond player. And uh, oh, I missed that shot. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he missed. Oh, shoot it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I just completed the challenge and I should have all five green checks. Uh, and there we go. We are about to get a new diamond. And it is George McGinnis. And... He's a uh, power forward, 95 overall, which is awesome. And uh, this card is from when he used to play for the Pacers, so that's pretty cool. And uh, this means that, um, like, already I already have a, um, a diamond lineup, but I've been using, like, two centers in my lineup for the power forward and center position. So that means that, you know, I'll be able to uh, put, like, uh, my other center, Ben Wallace, I'll be able to put him on uh, my bench, like, in the backup for my bench. And then have a uh, George McGinnis speed power forward and Willis Reed the center. But um, as you guys can see right here, I have five uh, challenge tokens, um, and now I'm gonna get my uh, my new diamond player. So let's uh, go to packs. Let's go to rewards queue, and let's check out his stats. Boy, uh, this is so I love how there's like a few ways to get uh, diamond players. There it is. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Ah, uh, the blue. Boom. George McGinnis. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> 95 overall. Man, and that looks like it's from the ABA, um, kind of, with the, the color of the ball. So that's awesome, man. Yeah, let's go check out stats. Man, George McGinnis, though. This is awesome. My so this is my, I believe it's my sixth diamond, already, and oh my gosh, in like in February already, jeez, that's so much. Like I didn't get a diamond till like nearly before um, 2K16 ended, you know. But let's uh let's go to his stats. Uh, actually, here you know, I was using a different lineup, but I'll put him in instead right here. All right, so I put Willis Reed. In for Ben Wallace and then George McGinnis. Oh man, that's sick. Okay, let's check out his stats. That's a pretty sick card. 97 offensive and 95 uh, defensive overalls. That's awesome. Um, oh, he's got oh he's got some uh, he's got some uh, amethyst badges. That's awesome. I think they're called amethyst or just purple badges. I don't know. Um, Okay, let's see. A plus for inside scoring, B for mid range, uh, B minus for three point. That's actually pretty good for power forward. Um, Playmaking is a B. Uh, perimeter defense is a B plus. Post defense is a B plus. A plus for rebounding. That's awesome. Um, a for athleticism, A for IQ, and A plus for both potential and overall. So this is an all A's and B's card. So no. C pluses or anything below that's all B minus and above. That's awesome. Let's um really quickly check out um, some of his stats. Um, let's see, shot closes in 96. That's awesome. Nine, uh, standing line, standing layup at the top is in 97. Uh, open shot mid range is 84. That's pretty good. Um, what's his open three? That's an 80. That's actually really good. I don't even know how tall he is, um, but I'll check right after this. And contested shot three is a 76. That's still really good. Off dribble shot three is a 34, so I shouldn't be shooting with him like that. Box shot's a 96. Wow. Offensive rebound is a 97 and defensive is a 96. Um, let's see what else. Defensive consistency is an 85. That's really good. Standing dogs to 95. That's nice. Speed's 80. That's actually really nice. Um, uh, and strength and stamina are both 98. Hustle's 95. IQ for a shot is a 97. Hands uh, is a 94. His reaction time's 80. That's that's decent. Um, and offensive consistency is a 98. So what was his defensive consistency? It was a 90. 85. But his offense is a 98. Wow. This card looks awesome, honestly. And he's six foot eight, so 
Oh man, my lineup is really short because as you like with uh with him he's a uh, six eight but like Willis Reed is like six nine, and then um jo uh, oh, I meant to say Ben Wallace he's a uh, I think he's six nine also so he's really I have a really short lineup but um man this is awesome so let's uh take out I think I'm gonna take out either Westbrook or Antoine Walker I'm not quite sure yet. I need to think about this. I'm for now. I'm just gonna put in Ben Wallace for um, for Westbrook, and let's kind of switch it up a little bit. Uh, Kevin Johnson to go here, um, and then okay, so that may actually be good. So like my backup would be uh, it would be Kevin Johnson. So while Ben Wallace won't even play center, it'll probably be Yao Ming again. Uh, from how it looks so far, but it would be Kevin Johnson as my backup point guard, and Kobe at shooting guard, Jerry Stackhouse at small forward, Ben Wallace at power forward again, and Yao Ming at center. But because uh, they are both centers, it may just like put Yao Ming, um, it makes put Anton Walker over Yao Ming because he is the designated power forward position. So that would be kind of weird, but I had to fix that later, I guess. And then Max Johnson would be there too, and Kyrie Irving. I love that Kyrie Irving code so much. But man, we already got six diamonds, and, uh, and it's funny. I have um, Lou Hudson, who's a small forward. He's my point guard. It's just because he's like six foot, uh, I believe four or five, six five. Okay. So yeah, because he's like my shortest one out there, I wanted him at my point guard position. Um, but man, this is really this is really looking good. I already have three ninety-five overall uh, players on my team. That's awesome. Um, and a uh, quick update, I'll show you guys really quick. Um, at the time you guys seeing this video, um, the the teams that are available for throwback packs are the the Bucks and the Pistons. And I haven't bought any packs, but like I've been looking through like the um, the bucks i've been looking to do their like historic collection and like i bought this bob dandridge for like six thousand it's crazy and i bought paul Presti for like seven thousand these guys i got for like super oh i already had this uh frank brickowski but i bought this lucius allen for like 950 bogut for a uh, thousand and like 900 for brandon jennings so uh, all these players are super cheap and the diamond reward for that is Sidney Moncrief who I actually had last year and I thought that was a great card. Um, he wasn't the best three point shooter but he can shoot like mid range and everything and he was really good on defense so I wasn't even planning on getting this card but when I saw everyone was super cheap I just decided that I'm going to try to go for it so um, I'll be sure to make another video off that soon and I should probably buy the players before these uh, throwback packs to the bucks. Uh, disappear because then the players may be a little more expensive. Surprisingly, the gold players at the bottom are a little more expensive than some of the other players, like the sapphires. But um, it's kind of weird. But like, I'll, I'll just wait till the prices are cheaper and I'll get them. But yeah. Oh, and uh, oh my gosh, I forgot. Really quick, uh, let's go to single single player and challenge tokens because we'll be able to find who the next player is. I'm assuming it's Pink Diamond Elgin Baylor. Let's see. Oh, it is. Oh man, that's going to be awesome. Elgin Baylor, he's one of my favorite Lakers of all time. Man, we're, we're going to get a, a, a pink diamond in five weeks. That's going to be weird though, because it's like, I have so many players who are like, in my lineup, they, I have multiple with the same position. Even my starting lineup, um, like with um, like Lou Hudson, who's my small forward, but he's a point guard. Then like James Worthy, like he's my small forward. So like what am I I'm just probably gonna have to put Elgin Baylor like um in place of him and James Worthy may have to come off the bench. Or maybe replace Jimmy Butler, I'm not sure. But also I was kinda thinking maybe I could like have like Lou Hudson for instance off the bench and um Elgin Baylor be like my starting point guard. Because even though like um Elgin Baylor, I think they said that his main position was um small forward and his backup position was power forward which is weird because he's like 6'5 but because he's 6'5 that's what I'm thinking he may be my point guard but I have to um, work that out later plus if I'm getting that Sydney Moncrief then now I have to rearrange that but 
pretty soon once I get this pink diamond elk and Bela, um, then I'll be able to have an all. Well, if I get that elk and Bela and that Cindy Moncrief, then I'll have an all pink diamond, diamond, and amethyst lineup, and that is just going to be really rewarding to me. So. Boy, I can't wait for that. But um, yeah, um, if you guys um, are like um, really, if you guys are not, um, if you guys are doing the uh, weekly challenges, or if you're not doing the weekly challenges, I'd highly suggest you um, start doing them because they're giving out some really great players. They started off with um, with the sapphire, then they uh, raised it to a, a ruby, then uh, an amethyst, and then two diamonds in a row. And so the next player is gonna be a pink diamond. And so I'm assuming after that. Um, uh, I'm predicting that after Elks and Baylor, I think it's going to be Bob Pettit because he's in the same, um, like, the same Game Awards. I think it's Game Awards 3. They're both in that. And I also saw that Tim Duncan was in Game Awards 3. He's in 99 overall, but I don't think he's going to be, uh, part of the weekly challenges because I heard there's another way of getting him, and that's just by, like, playing my team online a lot. So, um... I'm not sure if that's true or not, but um, I think it's like maybe winning 100 games in that or something. Or prestige, I'm not quite sure, but um, we have to wait uh, several weeks to find out. But uh, once more, here's a uh, look at George McGinnis. Um, go and get this card if you are, are like not doing the uh, weekly challenges, because honestly, this card's going to be awesome. And a 97 and a 95. Um, uh, like offensive and a defensive rating that's just gonna be amazing oh and really quick I'll kind of just like compare him to uh, um, Ben Wallace oops I think I need a let me put Ben Wallace like uh, on my in my collection and then I'll, I'll kind of just like compare him to Ben Wallace really quick um, so yeah like post defense I mean Ben Wallace is always going to be the leader in that but like everything else is honestly great so even his athleticism so yeah but yeah I think that's uh, gonna wrap this video for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, and I can't wait to use this code it's gonna be awesome and um, and then I can't wait to get my pink diamond uh, El Trimbala and then also that Sydney Moncrief that's gonna be really cool so yeah but, uh, yeah, pretty soon I need to start getting more point guards, you know, like, uh, a diamond point guard at least. That would be kind of cool, but yeah. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, there'll be more coming soon. And, uh, yeah, um, and until next time, later, peeps. Oh, and yeah, be sure to follow me, uh, on, uh, Twitter to keep up with what I post, at DrJ24Gaming. And, uh, also subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, to keep up with what I post. Like, I do, um, like... Uh, Call of Duty, uh, Infinite Warfare, um, Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare Mastered, and uh, as well as GTA 5, and of course NBA 2K17. Later, peeps.